Hey guys, it's Morgan and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a back walkover. So a lot of people have been asking me how I got my back walkover on ground and I was just like, why not film it so I can teach you guys as well? And I want to start doing gymnastics and cheerleading videos and I thought this video would like be good to start it off because it's a tutorial how to do something that's like cheer and gymnastics related. So I hope you guys learned something in this video because that's always good. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can come join my mini family. And in my last video, it was a slime video and I was wearing this in my intro and outro. And it's cause I'm filming it on the same day, so. So without further ado, let's just get onto this video. So the first thing you'll need to do is stretch. This is really important to stretch all of your muscles, otherwise you could hurt yourself. If you don't know, this is what a back walkover looks like. If you're trying to do your back walkover, I recommend you have your bent back kick over first. Because if you have your bent back kick over, it is 10 times easier to do your back walkover. When you've got your kick over, you want to practice going into a bend back from standing and then kicking over straight away. Just because back walkovers start from standing, so you want to practice doing a bend back kick over from standing. Once that's all covered, you want to put the leg you kick over with in front and then go into a bend back. And then you want to try kick off that leg so it's sort of like a back walkover. Back walkovers you just go over straight away, but this is much easier if you put one leg in front, then go into a bend back, then kick over, so then you sort of get how it feels. Then you want to hold this position for about 10 seconds, because this is how your legs sort of look like. And all the stuff I'm showing you, do it every morning so you get closer and closer to your back walkover. In the middle of your back walkover, your legs sort of look like this. It's good to hold this on the floor or just leaning up against something so you get a good leg motion in the air. You can practice holding this position because this is how you start your back walkovers. Get someone to spot you and when you get better and better, get them to start letting go. When you're feeling confident, just try and do it by yourself. This does take practice, so don't be disappointed if you don't get it in a day. Make sure you practice the things I told you to do every single day, and then you'll get there eventually. So I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you did. And I hope you learned something in this video. And if you learned how to do it, or if you're just a bit better at it now. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You know, you're already here, so you might as well just click that button. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.